Hey guys, welcome back to my St. Christopher's School Lockdown Demo Playthrough. This is just part three, I'm afraid, so far. I'm only on part three. Load. Hello. Okay, that took a while. Computer dark. I think that's where we left off. So, in the last part, we had found Leslie's pigeonhole. We'd got a phone number and then the lights had mysteriously gone out and Roger had been completely useless, even as the Hulk, as he is here in coming up with any kind of plan to get us out of this sticky situation, aren't you, Rog? Eh? You've done nothing, mate. Nothing at all. See, there must be something we can do, says Kales. Just relax, Kayleigh. You're driving me nuts. See, he's absolutely bloody useless. So, what have we got? We've got all this nice stuff. Look, corkless bottle, a cork, a knit bag. Ooh, a knitting needle. Ooh, what's that? Lo ooh, a love letter. I didn't notice that in the last one. The letter gets cut off here. No, come on, let me read it. My dearest Horace, it has been only two months since you left, but to me it has felt like nothing less than a lifetime. Hmm, the little thing there's really uh, covering up part of the letter. That should be something you think about, developers. Something you need to address. In my humble opinion, anyway, let's get back. It's felt like nothing less than a lifetime. A life sentence, to be more precise. Without your encouragement and support, the day drags and crawls like a drunken caterpillar on a rotting leaf, and I can no longer summon the strength to fight the Philistines among us. You know who I mean. And the kids, well, their selfishness and shallowness seems to worsen by the day. All they seem to care about is their computer games, their fake IDs, their little Saturday jobs at the chemist. They don't see that there is a whole world of suffering out there which they could alleviate if they wanted to. They don't see that some of that suffering burns within the hearts of their very own teachers. All of that narcissism, that pettiness, makes them blind. Things haven't improved much here, of course. More budget cuts have been announced, and you know what that means. Morty will find the perfect excuse to get rid of me, along with every other were the faculty who has had the courage to desist his lecturers. We'll say that textiles and fibre arts are not relevant. What that means, moral fibre is a problem. Do you remember I told you about that CD-ROM I found in the library, in one of the computers? I've been carrying out some little experiments. I leave it in plain sight on my desk when the kids come to sign the attendance sheet. I look for signs of recognition, and I have some suspicions, but I can't be totally sure. If I'm right about Hood's behind it, it would be so painful, so sad. Such a lovely child, albeit troubled. Someone who has at least a modicum of empathy. So why carry on with that reprehensible poisonous website? Why? That's a love letter. <laughs> it doesn't sound very loving. I don't know what they're talking about. Something about a website and a CD-ROM that this person found in the library that they leave out for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Crochet special. Did I look at this? Bold letters on the first page proclaim this to be the property of Leslie Murr. You also find an unfinished letter addressed to a certain Horace. Yes, we've read that and don't know what it bloody means. A good quality knitting needle, stainless steel, 5mm thick, 27cm long and made in China. And a nice bag, what are we gonna do? Candles, oh yeah. Your nan used, yes, we know all this, Kales. We've done this before. What are we going to 
Duh. Hey, Raj, do you want to read this letter? Okay, do you want to read this crochet magazine? I know you like crochet. What? I didn't fail, game. Okay, Roger likes crochet. He told me before. He likes to knit. Okay. Yeah, a random association is my only thing here. I'm just going to go through all this stuff on Rog. Until Rog does something about his attitude. How about a candle, Rog? Do you want to hold a candle? No. Oh, look what I found. Now we just need a lighter. Oh, let me check if I have my lighter. Oh, he's perked up a little bit now. Look, he's shocked. <gasps> Do I have my lighter? Hello, oh, no, no! Let me check. No, 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 no! Stop! Who's saying that? There's no name. Who the hell? Yeah, exactly. Who the hell is that? He's proper shocked now. Look, ah, oh, what's going on? <laughs> Not sure. What who's this kid? It's me, Shilling! Oh, I told you it was a kid. In the last one. What on earth? Shilling? What the hell are you doing in here? Did you lock us in? No way! I just... Just what? Hang on. Let me get a lighter. There might be one in the kitchen. No, don't! That's what I'm trying to tell you! Take a whiff, will you? What is that smell? Paint thinner. Guys, it's strongest over here. Is somebody pouring it under the door? What? Kelly, I'm scared. It's okay, Shilster. We just we just need to do something about these fumes. Oh my head's starting to feel a bit fuzzy. Here, let's see if I can pop this vent open. What vent? Oh, I can't see the vent. Please be careful, Rog. Rog! Oh, Roger, you dumbo! Roger, are you all right? Roger! Kelly, we need to get out of here. What if they come in for us? Who's coming in for us and what the hell's going on? Who the hell is pouring paint thinner under the bloody door? Shilling, let me think. Roger's breathing, but he's not breaking up. I think he'll be okay if we can get him out of here. Kelly, the fumes. I know, I know. Damn it, I need to do something about the solvent immediately before we all collapse. Oh no, you know what it means when you see dancing colours. Time to dial your mood down a bit. Okay, I, I shall be more sombre than game. Oh no, my curse is going wonky. Oh no, Rog, what's wrong with you? Roger is in no position to hold a coherent conversation. Oh god. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Use Roger, pick up Roger. You're not that callous, the poor guy. You really need to deal with these toxic fumes. You can hardly even stand still at the moment from all the nerves. Oh, God. Oh, I can't talk to Shilster. Shilster! Why? Would, he was just hiding down there all along. Who is he, anyway? Well, we know there's a vent in this kitchen. You might feel high, but that's a lot higher. Even stretching your long neck and standing on the tip of your toes, you only just see the cover of the vent. Well, what about the chair? Move the chair. There isn't space in your life for a set of stolen chairs, but if there was, you would go for a Louis the uh, 16th type of look. Your inner self always felt more like a French aristocrat than a working class girl born and raised in Sheffield. Oh, you're from Sheffield, are you, Kales? Very good. You're a Yorkshire girl. Very good indeed. Well, why can't we move the chair up to the bloody... Much as you deserve a good cup of coffee, some Jaffa cakes and a fag, this is not... Yes, but we want to move the chair up to the vent to open the bloody frigging vent. There are times when a little improvised... Look, well, obviously we need... There's the vent. What about this? What's this? What's that? No, oh, no, 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 no! What are we gonna do? Where's my call? Chilean, Chilean call. Oh, the, all the fumes have gone now. Apparently. Oh no, the back. 
no, I'm stuck again. But, oh, planter, what the hell is this? I never saw this before. Few times in your whole life have looked few times in your whole life have luck with such interest that big ugly what oh okay she's like going mental from the fumes she can't speak there's been news before you intervened so now you better find a good reason to have taken it well i haven't taken it yet what are you on about kales okay i've taken it now what am i gonna bloody do with it though a planter it's got uh, this pot has been well designed. Good thick walls to hold the soil and two holes strategically placed to drain the excess water. Okay, let's put the cork in there. If it's got a hole in it. A little logical challenge here. You have only one cork but two holes to cover. Oh, okay, Kales. Thanks, a little clue. I'm going to cut my cork in two. Oh, very good. Yes, I am a king of adventure gaming again. I'm, I'm getting somewhere. Magical. Sealed planter. Looking at it, you are flooded with the kind of pride Benjamin Franklin must have felt when he first discovered electricity. Such accomplishment. Yes, but what the hell am I going to do with it? Roger's dead. Roger, do you want a sealed planter? Where's... Oh, there's... Sh what gave you that... Ro oh, shilling. What have you got to say for yourself? You look at shilling with an unexpected surge of sympathy. He reminds me... He reminds you of your own younger self, a dangerous childhood enjoyed to the fullest before having to come to terms with the disappointment of adulthood. Yes, it's such a disappointment, Kales, you're right. Are you okay, kid? You don't look too good. It's a smell. It hurts my tummy. Let me see what I can do. It's pretty revolting. <sighs> what am I going to do? Where? He stood on the desk. Pay oh, paint thinner. Oh, okay. Oh. Look, door. Paint thinner. Let's have a look. Shilling is right. You need to do something to clear the air or wash the solvent out. Who could have done something so sick? Yeah, who's doing that? You blow on it frantically, trying to dilute the fumes. Nope. You should find a better way to do this. No, not that. Please open the door. Roger is badly hurt. Call an ambulance, please. If you don't open now, we we'll call the police. How are we going to do that, Kales? We ain't got a phone. You get no response. You didn't expect any. Take the paint thinner. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so I guess we're going to wash it away. That means we need some water. sink it's a sink you feel bizarrely excited about this for some reason you can stop using exclamation points no i don't think i will stop using them oh we've got some water look now let's put it in my bowl this is now a bowl finally nothing makes you feel more empowered than a bucket full of water what would you like to do with it oh i'd like to put it on the paint thinner please Take it on the paint thinner. It takes several trips to the kitchen, but eventually you can barely smell the solvent anymore. Okay, almost gone. Now I better fix my mood or I'll have a fit. Fix my mood? I'm going to fix my mood. So has it gone now? Are we okay? Can we talk to Shilster? How are you holding up, kid? Hey, Kaylee. I just want to get out of here. Let's talk for a bit. Maybe get your mind off it then. What was he? Was, he was in the cupboard. Oh, I thought he was high. What? Why is the paint fume still here? We got rid of it. What were you doing in the cupboard? Nothing. Nothing really. Really now? You just happened to be hiding in the cupboard up here, doing absolutely nothing. I was looking for something. Uh huh. 
Let me guess, something to sell at your shop, is that it? Please don't tell Drake. I was just looking inside the trunk over there. I wasn't stealing, I promise. Okay, Shill, don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. You have to be careful, though. You don't want to get into any trouble. You should be careful, too, Kaylee. Whoa, is that a threat, Chillster? Huh? What are you going to do? How old he is? <laughs> Don't we know how old he is? We seem to know him. I think we know how old he is. Ten and three quarters. Just a baby, then. Hmm, not really a baby, is he? Who are you calling a baby? Do your parents know you're here? Why is he here? Don't know. How could you not know? They're probably worried sick. I don't have a dad, and Mum's always busy. I bet she didn't even notice I was gone. Oh, I'm sorry. You should. It's okay. She works really hard. I'm just here to help her. How do you mean? Kaylee, we need to get out of here. We can talk about my mum later. Uh, yeah, right you are. I'll be right back. I'm going to look around a little bit more. Be good. I'm always good. <laughs> okay. So, what are we going to do now? Rog. Roger is in no position. Look, why is the fume still here? We don't need any fumes anymore. Look, why is the fume still here? We got rid of the fumes. Hey, there's like a footstep sound there. But only there. Oh dear, what do we need to do now? And we shouldn't have these fumes anymore because we've got rid of the fumes. Maybe we could fill the bottle with water. You fill the bottle, good for you. However, you need a lot more water than that. Something bigger would work better here. For what? That sounds like it's left over from the fume puzzle. This is only a demo, don't forget. It's not indicative of the final product. Also, I should mention I was told that the animations are not final either, just in case you were wondering. So, just remember that. If you're watching this, it's not the final product, okay? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, he was in the closet. Let's look in the... How's it locked? He was in there! Hey. <sighs> what are we going to do now? Okay, guys. I took a little break now to figure out what to do. And I figured it out. And this is what we have to do. You see, if we click on here on Pick Up Roger, it says you better take care of that mood of yours or who knows where this will lead. So that leads me to suspect we have to do, that we can do something there once we've taken care of our mood, which I didn't know how to do. But I then figured out if we go down here and click on this, and then on the scales, this is to do with our mood, and then we have these scales here, and we're unbalanced, you see, we're not feeling too good. And then we have this timer here in the bottom right, <clears throat> and then if we start clicking these cards, you see, timer starts going down, and we have to memorise some of these cards. Devil's Fire, Concentrated Chili, Valerian Root, Sloth, Nepalese Monastery Retreat, <coughs> Sloth, Valerian Root, Devil's Fire, Icaro, 
Sunday afternoon is best spent and then we have to pick one of the cards that we hopefully memorised and answer to this question and that is obviously wrong things to do with the rope and then that gives us minus one and that then changes our scales here must haves for your pantry but we want to get the minus ones you see not the plus ones <clears throat> apparently to drop the low here to be level with the high and we can do this as many times as we like long weekend suitable destinations I wish my spirit animal were a sloth yes you see now we just need one more and we'll be okay so if we replay good thing about this is that the, le the scales stay level as many times as we play which is good so now the counter's going down again bury it in bury it in the bottom of your garden go to Vegas share it with friends mm, these are all pretty long ones actually stuntman bartender disco Nepalese monastery retreat eye popping animal disco bartender stuntman stuntman bartender disco Nepalese <clears throat> unexpected inheritance from rich Aunt Jemima uh, no long weekend suitable destinations yes you see ah that's the stuff you feel perfectly centered now so now we can just quit this go back to the game this seems like the right moment to get out of here make most of it make the most of it Kales or disembodied voice talking to us so that means I'm moody centered and now you see our curses all right and the uh, fumes seem to have completely dissipated which is very very nice isn't it so if we go back to rog now we click on use rog or pick up rog shilling what are you doing pickpocket oh pickpocketing that's what she's gonna do pickpocketing roger he might have some valuables i can pawn off once we get out of here who is she and what's this A for here? Your name is Kale. Kales, not A. Really? So what is she like? Some kind of thief or something? Of course not. I'm just seeing if he has a phone. Oh, so she was just kidding. She was just having a little joke with old Shilster there. Hmm. Bingo. You found one? Quick, call someone. Call Drake. No, the police. We can't call the police, shilling. Hang on a sec. I think... Crap, yeah, it's... Oh, no, it's password protected. Roger. So, Roger's right here. Hey, Roger, we need your phone password. What is it, dude? What was happening? Oh, oh. Rog is not very happy, shilling, I'm afraid. After a thorough search, which leaves no pocket unturned, you retrieve an old letter. Where's the phone? I thought we got a phone. Did we get a phone? Ah, we did get a phone. Very good. Let's see if we can find anything else. Last but not least, you find a rather stained handkerchief. Decide to stop your search right there and leave the poor guy's more embarrassing possessions alone. <laughs> what else does he have on him? I don't want to know. Where's the handkerchief then? Let's check the wallet. The well-worn wallet is bursting with receipts and ancient tube tickets. With dessert, oh yes, I used to have a wallet like that. Do you remember in Seinfeld, George's wallet? <laughs> That's what mine used to be like. But one day I just said, no, you know what? This is ridiculous and I threw it all away. Anyway, tube tickets with discerning criteria you select a handful of items that perhaps, if you are very lucky, could bear some clue to that elusive phone password. Okay, yes, the, the password. Oh, oh, look at all this stuff. Pet photo. 
you raise an eyebrow at Roger's patchy and rather uneven green dye job. <laughs> Looking good, Rog. Yes, I like it. This is why you have to make sure to properly bleach your hair before applying the colour. Yes, Rog, you failed. And who's this bloody bungle? <laughs> Is your name Jeffrey? Is that Bungle? Where's Zippy and George? <laughs> okay, so I guess there's nothing on that. And the photo could be useful to someone a lot more sentimental than you. Yes, good call, Kales. I'm not very sentimental. Card is so full of scratches, you wonder if it ever does its job. Doesn't it have a chip and pin? You would use it, given the chance, but you so she's like some kind of thief or something. Although she was joking to Shilster before about pickpocketing. But the little things that she's saying, like she'd use a credit card, given half the chance, she'd take his stuff and flog it. You suspect Roger's account has a lower balance than yours, which means it must be in the negative digits. Ah, poor Rog. Condom! Condom! Presto, the cheap presto, the cheapest brand of prophylactics. Not an area where saving money it should be encouraged. Yes, Roger. You don't scrimp on these things, don't you know the dangers involved, dirty bugger? Warning: Trying to use a condom can give you a bad case of penis envy. Oh, really? Postcard. The postcard shows the Princess of the Fjords, a cruise famous for offering all-inclusive discount packages to octogenarian couples. Mm, what's he got that for? You're going on a cruise with some octogenarians, Roger? Mm, mm, got a thing for the old ladies, have you? Yeah, mm, I don't want to know, mate. Sadly, Roger's grandpa got there before you, and the back of the card is full of his barely legible handwriting. Great family photo. Now you know where Roger got his smile from. Where? His papa or his mama? If only you had a silver frame. Well, I don't. Phone. Roger has an <coughs> Okia F F56. <laughs> oh. An Nokia, a Nokia. Oh, very good, very good. The kind which takes pictures and has all sorts of add-ons like Tetris. Lucky guy, when is this game set? Because that looks like a pretty old phone, Rog. Not, not like a smarty phone. Mmm, smarty phone. I'd like one of those. One that dispenses smarties, not the American smarties, which are like those things like real smarties from Britland use the phone kills welcome please enter your password where is my password password incorrect password please try again god no Roger no K Lee. Uh, I don't know how to spell K Lee. No. B I don't know what it's going to be. Shilling. Do you know the answer to the password puzzle? Hey. <clears throat> okay, we've asked all these. I'm going to look around a bit more. Okay, good. It's on always good. Uh, Rog, are you still dead, mate? Roger is in no position to hold a coherent com Yes, we know that. Oh, what have we got? What have we got? A password, a password. Oh, what? Roger's CD. This was his CD, wasn't it? Didn't I not remember that? For some reason, standard issue CD, masking type label, no case. Another fine example of copyright infringement gone undetected. Good taste, though. Best of Bowie. The label clearly states that it belongs to Roger Spencer. Oh, you see, it is Roger's and it's Bowie. <clears throat> I 
and it's the best of. So maybe he likes a bit of Bowie. Come on. What did that say on there? Welcome to all. Oh, I don't know. Bo E. Searching for signal. Ooh. Oh, it was Bowie. Well done, Rog. Well, have we got a signal then? Or what? Can we use the bloody thing? Your heart breaks when you discover that reception is virtually non existent in this room. However, the telephone makes a far better torch than your captain Centolo Keyring. Oh, yes, it is better. I can't believe it! We're not getting a signal in here! Sorry, kiddo! I guess the phone call isn't gonna save us! But look, it gives up a really bright light, Keely. Hmm, I suppose that's something. Maybe we should take another look around, now that we can see a bit better. See if we missed anything when it was too dark. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I think it's pretty cool, though. <laughs> okay, we asked all that stuff. So how in the hell are we supposed... We need, he said we need to find keys. That was a while ago. Urgh, look at that. That's that's kind of weird. That's changing the, pers the little... The desk there. Oh. Oh. Everybody moving a little bit. <laughs> right, so we've got a better torch, but now what? Where, where was it dark where we couldn't look? What about the vent? I still f want to use my helicopter in the vent, because I think that is a bloody good idea. Ah, as you look more carefully, you notice a metal handle probably there for maintenance purposes. By the look of things, that handle gets little use. Oh, let's just... Okay, if you need to use a grease-caked vent, you need to remove the cover. Perhaps some kind of hook. Oh, you see, we're getting some nice clues now. I like this. Some nice clues on what we can do. A very noble intention, but the vent is pretty hard to reach from where you are without help. Oh, God! Well, what, how are we going to get there, then? How are we going to... Can we just use my knife on this thing? Even when you fear. Oh no. We haven't got a hook. How are we going to get a hook? What kind of hook are you talking about, you Kales? I've got a knitting needle. Pencil. Oh, a brolly. That's got a hook on it. Maybe that. With a mighty effort and only a slightly strained shoulder muscle, you manage to open the vent without cracking your head like Roger did. The remaining paint thinner abandons the room and you feel slightly more optimistic. Yes! Now I'm going to put my helicopter in there. Do it, Kales. You know it makes sense. Your helicopter buddy is ready to go, but wait, shouldn't you attach some kind of message? Ah! <laughs> we are going to put it in the vent. I love it. Okay, some kind of message. Well, we've got a pencil. <coughs> well, we've got this foot. Oh, we've got no signal, though. Okay. Pencil. Well, we've got nothing to write anything on. Nothing to write on. Uh, hmm. Shilling! You got any paper, boy? Oh, there's that note on there. Maybe that. We'll just check what old Shill has to say. No, oh, he doesn't say bloody anything is as useless as Roger. Useless, Roger. Oh, what about the... Let's just check the trunk again. See if we can... Oh, we can't pick up Voodoo Barry. I want Voodoo Barry. Okay. Okay, okay. What about this note? 
Yeah. Too dark to read the passive-aggressive exchanges between staff members. What a bunch of control freaks. How's it too dark? We've got this nice torch now. What about the... Hmm... Kettle... Even in the dark. That will still looks filthy. Another use... Any other use than strictly local is prevented by the chain. Miss Brushkin. Oh, is that a second name then? Oh no! What am I gonna? What am I gonna attach to the? Yes, it does make sense. How are we gonna what we're we gonna use to attach a message? Why is this cabinet door open? We've got the vent off. Let's look at it. Now you remove the cover, all you see is the beginning of a long tunnel of darkness. Now the way is clear, what would you like to do with the vent? It must connect all areas within the building. Very noble intention. Hmm. Powered up and ready to fly. Helicopter buddy's ready to go, but wait, shouldn't you attach some kind of message? Yes, I should, but how? Under the flickering light, you notice something of great importance. Well, sort of. Hey, look, I thought this was a smoke detector. What's the difference? Um, you know, gas and smoke are, uh, you know, chemistry and all that. The periodic table. I wonder how much I could sell it for. <clears throat> In spite of the lack of a receptive audience, you feel very pleased. Why? Hmm. Microwave oven, yeah, da 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 da. Oh, I oh, ain't got a message. How can we? We've got nothing to write a message with. Oh, we have got something to write it with. We've got nothing to write it on. Rog, you got anything else? Hmm. <laughs> Ceiling has nothing. Oh no. Pick up the pencil. What can we do with the pencil? We need to write on something. Maybe we can write on the password. With what little is left of the pencil, you write a desperate SOS note, hoping to... Oh, so we can write on there. Hoping Drake... Who's Drake? I want to know who bloody Drake is! Is it... Is it Nathan Drake? Is he here? The great explorer of uncharted worlds? Could it be him? I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, SOS note. What have we written on it? <clears throat> There's something intrinsically dramatic about a handwritten SOS note. In this case, there are also a couple of spelling errors. Okay, so we can we put that on my helicopter now, please? That seems to do the trick. Now all you can do is hope it gets to the right hands. It's a long shot, but the situation is desperate. It is desperate. We're stuck in here and we need to get out. Okay, little puffer. Fly! 
fly, little birdie, fly! The new and improved Mighty Puffer is ready to carry its desperate message. And yet, the moment you direct it towards the tunnel, it gets stuck. These ventilation ducts need some serious attention. Ooh, what's going on? Ooh, okay. The old connect the pipe puzzle. But where? From here to here, I assume. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, at least I thought all of these were going to be separate pipes we had to move. But no, we just have to move them around like this. Okay, so that looks like it's got to be like that and that. Uh, hmm. Well, may, oh, I suppose we have to connect the red and the. Okay. Maybe not then. What well, I suppose. We... Oh, this is another. Yeah. Move and rotate the pike pieces to connect this room to the gym. All pipes must be joined. <clears throat> what? That looks like a potato with an eyeball. So I guess this one here, we have to connect it to this one here. All pipes must be connected. Okay. Oh no, I don't like it. I don't bloody like it. Does... Okay, well, it's got to be like that because that's. Well, I'm assuming all the pipes. Let's have a hint. No. Okay. That's hinty. Oh no! You can move the bloody thing. Oh shit! I didn't bloody realise that. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Definitely gonna need a bloody hint now. Look, this one. Oh my god! That's a little bloody difficult, isn't it? Uh, hmm. Could be, could be, yes, I think, yes, that's it. Oh, it's there, look now. Okay, we're getting on the right track now. <coughs> what about up here in the top left where the first vent is? This is a pretty difficult puzzle, actually. If you just had to rotate them, it'd be quite easy. But to actually have to move the tiles as well as rotate them, that's pretty difficult. That's like something out of a hidden object game. Which I don't mind exactly, but you know. That looks like it, I don't know, it doesn't go there. Uh. Oh, I've got the hint, the hint's there now. Um, hmm, I've got this working alright, what about this? No, something with a... Oh, yeah. This one. That's it. There you go. Now we want a green and a brown next to each other there. Hmm, uh, that one. Yeah, uh, oh no. I 
thought that was going to work, but it uh, it didn't work at all. Ah, oh. ah, yes, okay. Yes! Ah, oh, that one goes there. Yes! We did it! Okay, we've done it then. Is that it? Well, what? Well, we've done it. What's the thing now? Back. With the help of Shilling, you guide the little heli buddy towards the gym. Somebody is bound to see it at some point. You can only hope. <gasps> Oh, we've saved! Drake, what do you think you're doing? We've been locked up in here trying to get out. Roger's gone and hit his head. He needs some help, Drakey boy. Are you kidding? We don't have time for that. Does the word concussion mean no to you? It's not like I did it on purpose. I'm from bloody Sheffield, Jake, and I'm going to bloody talk like it, although I don't know if they talk exactly like this in Sheffield. Because there's different accents in Yorkshire. Didn't you know that, Jake? Just look at this, will you? We're in deep trouble. The Town Herald. You feel your blood go cold. This can't be happening. Oh, no, they didn't. I am number one. Oh, this needs to be sorted because I can't read the bloody text. Oh, shit. That's Cressy von Bülow, the German ambassador's daughter. Someone sent her to that bloody tabloids. We can't find her anywhere either. Everybody's freaking out. We, we have to go now. What's she? In here on Friday? What's going on, Kaylee? Nothing good, Shilster. Nothing good. Yeah, what is going on? I want to know what the hell's going on. Oh. Is that the school? Classroom Graffiti Productions? Not now. Students revolt against oh. face mask to Cyber Cafe. The slag and lace. <laughs> <laughs> Trust fund hooligans, vandalised posh school. That's Rog. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm nearly done here. Not anywhere near it. Just got here. Guitar. Stummy, stummy, Kevin. Hey, there's Kev. We learned about him. Stephen. Nobody's talking about you, moron. Minister, we will not give in to the teenage. The teenage what? I didn't see it. We've done this puzzle. Very well, I might add. Oh, uh, we saw this already. Kaylee player. Caution. Oh, that looks like another cool puzzle. I like puzzles like these, actually. So this is obviously some kind of little trailer. Yes, we already messed around with the moods. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Roof protest ends in fatality. Oh no. The St. Christopher's School lockdown. Coming Mar Ooh, March 2017. Cool. Well, guys, that was the demo done and completed <laughs> I'm so glad that putting that helicopter in the vent actually turned out to be the way to go because <laughs> that is what I thought to do although I did say I was going to go pick up the key but then it's like well obviously it wasn't going to pick up the key because it didn't have a grappling claw on the bottom but I was right about putting it in the vent wasn't I see bloody smart so yeah, March 2017, the full game comes out, so I shall look forward to that. I of whole ready contributed to the 
to it. So that shall be on its way to moi when it's released, and I shall play it, and then probably do a proper playthrough of the whole thing. And so yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Good graphics, stories intriguing, puzzles seem okay for the most part. I did get a little bit stuck, I have to admit, but when when do you not get stuck in an adventure game? I mean, tell me that. Can you tell me that? No, you can't, because you get stuck in every adventure game. Or at least I do. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess that wraps up this video, so look out for it in March 2017, and check out Classroom Graffiti website. Link in the description. Okay, guys. Bye bye.